By continuing to draw attention to the concept of bullying, she is only attracting more attention to her own bullying accusations. Schofield, host of the To Die for Daily podcast, told Fox News Digital. It is in stark contrast to the way the British royal family operates, she explained. They elevate important causes by allowing other people to tell them their stories. They listen, ask questions, and campaign for causes, spotlighting those individuals. Schofield claimed the royal family has checked out when it comes to engaging at all in a relationship with Meghan. She has proven to be untrustworthy and destructive in their eyes, Schofield claimed. However, I do imagine that Meghan campaigning against bullying would inspire some laughter around the palace corridors. It takes some audacity. I do consider it a risk, said Schofield about Meghan speaking out. If Meghan continues to push the victim narrative, others might come out and say she treated them unfairly. British royals expert Hillary Fordwich told Fox News Digital that Meghan's goal should have been providing encouragement and support versus placing the spotlight on herself. The royal family is likely to view this as yet another attention-seeking attempt on her part, Fordwich claimed. British broadcaster and photographer Helena Shard also told Fox News Digital, there is a fine line between doing good and self-promotion. There is also a fine line between authenticity and hypocrisy, Shard explained. Meghan Markle hopes to lead anti-bullying. This is ironic and a slightly warped optic considering the bullying accusations Meghan has faced. The pot calling the kettle black springs to mind. Various members of Harry and Meghan's staff claimed Meghan drove them out of their jobs with her persistent bullying, said Shard. Buckingham Palace conducted an investigation using an outside legal team. The results of this investigation have been hushed up, which leaves an air of uncertainty. As a result, Meghan may always be known as a bully. One of the foundations of successful leadership is authenticity, Shard continued. I feel Meghan is considered a hypocrite. This disconnect might negatively impact every aspect of her life. Since her royal exit, Meghan has opened up about her personal experiences with online bullying. When you've been through any level of pain or trauma, I believe part of our healing journey, certainly part of mine, is being able to be really open about it she said during an interview with CBS Sunday Morning in August. I really scraped the surface on my experience, but I do think that I would never want someone else to feel that way, and I would never want someone else to be making those sort of plans, and I would never want someone else to not be believed, she noted.